Okay, so we've worked out how many cells are going to fit into our panel, and we've decided which cells specifically are going to go into our panel. So we're nearly ready to begin to join them up into an electrical circuit. So in order to do that, we need to understand what we're looking at when we when we hold a, a solar cell. So the cell has two sides. It's got the front, which is blue, and that is the negative side. And it's got the back, which is grey, and that's the positive side. If you're a scientist, you would call the front, which is negative, the cathode, and the back, which is positive, the anode. But we're just going to talk about them as positive and negative. So the cells go this way up, which is why when you look at a solar panel, it's blue. And the sunlight hits the top of the panel, and this frees electrons, which then are gathered on the top of the cell and are attracted by the positive side on the back because they're negatively charged, and they flow to the back of the, the cell. And they create a potential difference when they do that. If you want to learn more about the physics of solar cells, then there are links on the website, but for the time being, we're going to leave it there. So what we need to know is that because we're creating a series circuit, and in a series circuit you connect positive to negative, positive to negative, the top of each cell, being the negative, is going to have to be connected to the bottom of the next cell along because that's positive. And then the bottom of that cell is going to have to be connected to the top of the next cell because that's negative. And it will become clearer how we're going to do that later on. But you've got to remember that when connecting in series it's positive to negative. Each connection is a positive to a neg negative connection. And we're going to be connecting along these white lines. We're going to be soldering tabbing wire up this white line and then we're going to be soldering that same tabbing wire onto the underside of the next cell. And then from there, tabbing wire will run onto the top of the next cell, and so on. OK, so why are we going to connect them um, in series as opposed to in parallel? Uh, so the reason we're going to connect them in series is that, ultimately, we want to charge a battery with the panels that we're building. And the most common form of battery that you can get your hands on easily and cheaply is a 12 volt battery, so that's basically a car battery. Um, but to charge a 12 volt battery, you have to be getting output from your panels of over 12 volts. So we need to make sure that whatever output we're getting, if we want to charge a battery, it's got to be 13, 14 volts or above. Now really it needs to be about 18 volts, uh, because this means that even when the sun is not shining at its strongest, and the output drops down as a result, you're still probably going to be above 12 volts, so you're always going to be charging the battery. Each of these cells, regardless of how big they are, so unlike the case with current, where the current output was proportional to the surface area of each cell, unlike that case, each cell, regardless of their size, will give around half a volt output. So that will give half a volt, and that will give half a volt. You can think of it as the current being proportional to the surface area, but the voltage being proportional to the width or depth of each cell. Now obviously the surface area of that is very different to the surface, surface area of that, but they're still exactly the same depth, so they're going to give the same voltage. In order to get up to 18 volts, in order to charge our battery, we need to put these cells together in a circuit which will sum the voltages. So for each cell that we put in, we will add the voltage to the cell that was put in before it. And that's a series circuit. So in this circuit, in this panel, we're going to have eight cells, and each cell is going to produce half a volt. So that means half times eight is four. So this panel is going to give us four volts output, which will not be enough to charge a battery. But that's, of course, limited by the size of the window we have. And we would be able to use it to charge a battery in conjunction with other panels that we could connect this panel to again in series. And there's more information about that on the website.